A long time ago, the prickly pear cactus was introduced into Australia. Over the years, the cactus became a pest in this country. This case is considered one of the greatest biological invasions of modern times. Luckily, the pest was controlled, but why is this case still important? Well, let's start telling the story. In 1788, Governor Philip introduced the prickly pear cactus at Port Jackson. The reason for introducing this cactus was to create a cochineal industry in the new colony. Cochineal is an insect that lives in the prickly pear cactus and from which a red dye is obtained. You only need to squeeze a little insect and you have a lot of red color. At the time, this red dye was used for the British Army's distinctive red uniform. The prickly pear cactus is native to the Americas. It is a leafless, spiny shrub. It has seasonal flowers and delicious fruits. Some of the cactus can grow bulbs underground, but the most important part of the cactus is its pads. As a result of its complex structure, the cactus can be drought and fire resistant. The prickly pear cactus is established either from seed or plant segments. The main dispersal method occurs when birds eat the fruit and their droppings contain the seed of the cactus. Then, the seeds can germinate in bird droppings. Birds love prickly pear fruits. It is believed that the flood of 1893 spread the seed and plant parts to many new areas. Prickly pear infestations covered 4 million hectares of land by 1900 and 58 million by 1920. This lovely cactus was considered an invasive species and it was causing a lot of damage in Australia. The prickly pear invasion caused ecologic and socio-economical impacts. In the environment, the prickly pear was competing with other fruits. It was blocking biological corridors, and it was dangerous for some species. However, some other species, such as emus, were loving prickly pear, so they became a pest as well. The spread of the cactus was a real threat for biodiversity in Australia. The economy was suffering because prickly pear was, literally, a huge obstacle for farmers and grazers. The impacts on society are linked to the economical ones because people were losing productive land and they were feeling impotent as a result of all the invested time, money, and physical effort to eradicate the past. Then, the government, farmers, and grazers started to think of possible solutions. Fire, chemicals, crushing the cactus with rollers thrown by horses, even the Crown offered a reward for the discovery of an effective control method. It was never collected. Nothing was working. Until 1912, when the Prickly Pear Travelling Commission was formed. Members of the commission traveled to countries where the prickly pear inhabits as a native species. The purpose of the trip was to identify natural enemies of the prickly pear. The research continued until 1924 when the government spread successfully the Cactoblastis moth, which is native to South America and is very destructive for the prickly pear. By 1932, Cactoblastis moth had caused the destruction of almost 7 million hectares of previously infested land. The remnants could be controlled by traditional methods. Happy ending in Australia, but the beginning of a nightmare in Mexico. After the successful control of the pest in Australia, other countries started to use the biological control for the prickly pear. It was released deliberately in the Caribbean, and in 2006, the first outbreak of Cactoblastis moth was detected in Isla Mujeres, Mexico. Fortunately, the outbreak was controlled on time, and the natural resource management agencies in Mexico started big prevention campaigns to inform of the risks of this little bug. Why is the prickly pear cactus so important for Mexico? The prickly pear cactus, or nopales in Spanish, is one of the most important species for Mexican ecology, economy, and society. A lot of species depend on it. It is essential to the Mexican diet, there are several products deriving from it, and it's a part of Mexican culture. If Cactoblastis attacks Mexican nopales, then Mexico will have a huge loss of biodiversity and several socioeconomic problems, including a big risk for social security. In summary, introducing species is a very dangerous activity. Invasive species threaten biodiversity, the economy, society, and human health. The prickly pear cactus is only one of thousands of invasive species cases. These days, it is difficult to control the introduction of species due to globalization. However, we need to be more careful. Little actions can make a big change. Stop buying exotic species, respect the law when traveling, be careful when growing your own plants, and improve your knowledge about native species of the place where you live.